Hi everyone, Comic Reviewy here, and this time reviewing on Green Lantern First Flight. Now, as you know, Green Lantern's First Flight was a 2009 animated DC movie. Now, I remember I bought this before years ago, thought it was okay, but now, just since I'm older, I just have a bit more of a dislike for it. Now, the premise of the film is meant to be about Hal Jordan, who, after getting his Green Lantern ring from the dying alien, Abin Sur, and being kind of taken in by the Green Lanterns to help find Ken Jiro, who has connections to, to the Lelo element. And at the same time, how is starting to kind of see the bigger picture behind it when he kind of starts to see Sinestro's more darker, more menacing, and more disturbed behaviour as he sees Sinestro's more brutal methods of interrogation as well as seeing him becoming a bit more arrogant and so on. And you can tell the other Green Lanterns and the Guardians see this but they believe that it's meant to be him under pressure. And at the same time, time, and also at the same time, they do sort of imply that Sinestro was going to build his own Sinestro corpse, which I think that was going to happen. Now, I do admit there are some good things I like about the movie. I like how the Guardians are a bit more emotional, a bit more showing, like, real concerned feelings, and I like how Gannett does kind of give Hal Jordan some benefit of the doubt, and starts to see a lot of trust and faith in him. And I do admit I like the idea that basically... that basically Hal's kind of this rookie, but gets better over time. Now, what's not good about it is the fact they really seem to rush the origin, and this was actually confirmed by director Lauren Montgomery that Hal, Jordan, that Hal Jordan's origin was covered in Justice League The New Frontier, and they didn't want to spend the whole time telling the origin story, but have it done and over before the opening credits. Which I think was a bit of a costly mistake, as this could have given Hal Jordan more time, more kind of learning what the ring is. And I think the problem is, I'm surprised that no one started to kind of question Sinestro's dark and disturbed behaviour. Again, I get it that you just get it he's under pressure, but just because someone dies doesn't give someone the right to be a dick. And I do think the problem with the story, it just seems to really rush things. It does take a little time with things, but not completely. And what's actually interesting as well is that there was originally going to be a sequel to Green Lantern's First Flight, the same with the 2009 Wonder Woman film, which never happened due to Paul DVD sales, which I think was a bit of a costly mistake. Now, again, if you've ever read Hal's revamped origin with Atrocitus, or if you had someone to help write a better script, maybe this could have been a bit more better, because the story seems rushed. Again, the foreshadowings of, the, of, of what Sinestro is, as well as the Green Latin Boudicca, was easily sort of shown, but they don't hide it too well. And I do admit, I do have a bit of a theory that this film is meant to share the same continuity with the Wonder Woman film from 2009, given the fact you have almost similar art styles, and I think they were going to go for a... I think what, what Lauren Montgomery was going for was a more kind of big kind of animated universe in her own ideas. That was a bit of a fool's errand. And I do admit, Green Lantern's first flight 
flew high, but I think it sort of crash landed down. Not one of the best, not one of the greatest, but I think at least Green Lantern Emerald Knights did a bit better. So, a thumbs down. Not the best, not the greatest, just too quick, not really taking time with anything, and nothing else. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.